Okay, simplify without the use of a calculator. Okay, so apparently it should be easy. And yet we have these unusual angles. I don't know what the cos of 2 is, do you? Okay, I don't know what cos of 32 is either. Okay, but one thing that I do notice is that I, I do recognize that this looks like the compound angle identity. The one for cos. Now remember cos is same ratios, different signs. So it should be 32. So this can be equal to cos of angle A, which is 32, minus angle B, because cos is different signs, which angle B is 2. So this is the same as cos of 30 degrees, isn't it? And cos of 30 degrees, I definitely know that that's square root 3 over 2. Okay, that was simple. How about this one? How about this one? Well, I, I recognize it as sine cos sine cos. That's different ratios, which means same sine, different ratios. That's sine. This one must be sine. Okay, sine. Same sine, which means that in here it must be a negative as well. Um, and sine A is 82, sine B is 37. And 82 minus 37, maybe you can do that without a calculator, I hope. That's 45. 45 degrees, and that is square root 2 over 2.